Hey guys, how you doing? I'm Paul the Tech Giant and today I'm going to be doing a gaming test on this 65 inch Samsung Q90R and the console I will be using to test out is the PlayStation 4 Pro so along with this 65 inch Q90R I also have an LG OLED as well now if you'd like to see any of my LG OLED gaming videos, then the links will be in the description where I have also tested out the PlayStation 4 Pro, but also the Xbox One X. And I will also be testing that out on the Samsung uh, any day now. So uh, again, keep an eye out for that video coming very soon. Along with testing out both TVs individually with the PlayStation and Xbox, I will be doing a video very soon where I will be comparing both TVs um, side by side or above and below, should I say. So I'll have one down here, I've one up on the top there and I've got a splitter. So I'll run, say, the Xbox, run the image to both screens simultaneously and we will see how they compare with the two different consoles with the two different technologies being OLED and QLED. So again, keep an eye out for those videos coming very soon. Just got to give a quick shout out to the guys at box.co.uk for hooking me up with this TV and the Xbox One X. Because if it weren't for those guys supplying me with this sort of stuff, I wouldn't be able to make this content for you guys at home. So a big thanks to them. Right, so quickly before we start, just got to say that when I made a previous gaming video, I received some negativity from some people who didn't like my game choice or the choice of console, and some people questioning why haven't I got a gaming PC, which resulted into some people making threats towards myself and even my family just because they didn't like the combination of what I was trying out, which is absolutely crazy. So yeah, anything like that, any personal insults or threats or anything like that will simply be deleted off and you will be barred. And big apologies to all you decent members of the gaming community out there because most of you are decent and you appreciate the videos that I do. So apologies for uh, you having to listen to this. But if any of you guys out there have got any suggestions for games that you'd like me to test out on the Xbox or the PlayStation with the QLED or the OLED, then please let me know and I will try and sort them out for a future video. Right, moving on with the video now, and I think we'll take a look at what games I'm going to test out. And they are as follows. Red Dead Redemption 2. Call of Duty Modern Warfare. Grand Theft Auto 5. Gran Turismo Sport. And just for a bit of fun, at the end of the video, I'm going to fire up a bit of Minecraft. Now, don't all jump down my neck about this. These are me kids' games. But the reason why I'm going to do this isn't so much for the game, but for the fact of it's nice and bright and colourful. And I think it will look really good on this TV. And it will be a good game just sort of visually, you know, colour-wise and things like that to uh, show off this TV. So that's why I'm just going to put that at the end. I know it's not everyone's cup of tea, but like I said, we're just thinking about sort of, you know, showing off the colours here and nothing else. So anyway, I think it's time we uh, crack on and uh, fire up the first game. Right, so we are off with Call of Duty Modern Warfare. Again, straight away, it's looking really nice. Now, I just want to point out when it comes to the settings on the PlayStation 4 Pro, it's all set up for it to be 4K HDR. And this is confirmed on the TV, if I just press on the remote now to get up that. And there we go, 4K HDR. As for settings with the TV, it's in picture-wise. Now, this is on the standard, I'll just get it up, um, game mode. Again, factory sort of settings on that. I've not adjusted it in any way. Now, I know there was a few requests to alter certain things. 
But just to make it fair for this first video, I'm gonna leave it how it comes from the factory. And when you plug in the PlayStation, it will automatically detect it is a PlayStation. And when you turn it on, it goes into game mode automatically. So that's how I'm gonna leave it. Factory settings, how it you know decides to put them when the uh, PlayStation is connected and auto adjust to game mode. Again, in the future, if there's any um, suggestions that you've got for settings or things that you'd like me to try with this console, with this TV, then again, please uh, leave a comment and I will maybe make another video in the future and uh, do what you'd uh, like me to uh, try out. So let me just try and adjust this image slightly because I've got a little bit too dark there at the moment. I've tried to uh, lock, lock the exposure at the moment so it's not going up and down too much. Let's just move around for some different viewing angles, see what it's like. So move around to the side there. And yeah, for a non-OLED TV, it is yeah doing a good job. I've got to say, I do love this game. Been playing it loads recently. Let me know what you think of the game if you got it. How do you think this uh, Call of Duty is? Now I'm going to spend a few minutes on each uh, game because I know before people have said they want to see the games played for uh, a little bit longer. So uh, that's what I'm going to do. And at any time you're a bit bored of it or whatever, feel free to fast forward. You know, I won't be offended. So uh, yeah, just hit that fast forward button if you want to move on to the next game. So yeah, like I said, I've been uh, racking up a few hours on this recently. It's a, uh, it's a good game, I like it. I'm not keen on the other ones where you've got like jetpacks and all that. It's a bit more over the top for me. I prefer the uh, more real realistic Call of Duty. That said, I am par partial to a uh, bit of zombies as well. And yeah, that image is looking very nice. You know, for a uh, factory default setting. Yeah, that's great. You know, as you'd expect with this TV, it's very bright. Just to show you guys, I've got some mega bright lights in there probably don't come across how bright they are on camera there but trust me they are very bright uh, I use really bright bulbs for uh, filming so this can be an issue with some TVs but reflection wise you know it's doing a really good job and uh, feel free to check out my other videos where I've actually done a daytime uh, brightness and reflection test with this TV uh, versus the LG OLED but the Samsung does seem to be the uh, leader in the market when it comes to anti-reflective uh, TV screens. Let's pull back a bit so you can have a bit of a wider view of it there. I'm not playing this game obviously, I'm uh, holding the camera with uh, one hand and I've got my other hand here free. I've got my son playing it for me at the moment. So yeah, let me know what you think of uh, this game on this Samsung Q90i. Does it look any good? Right, so I think what we'll do now is uh, move on to the next game. Right, so here we are with Red Dead Redemption 2. And again, this is a 4K HDR game. Now I know some people say that PlayStation 4 Pros don't do proper 4K, but anyway, going by what it says on the TV, you know, we're just gonna st stick to that now. And yeah, there you go. Oh, get it up again. UHD and HDR. Now again, I've tried to lock the um, exposure so it's not going up and down all over the place like a pair of knickers. So uh, hopefully 
it should look pretty stable most of the way through. And one thing I will say is, at the start of the game when, when we had those cutscenes, it looked absolutely amazing, really, really nice. Um, again, my sort of daily driver TV at the moment is my OLED. This QLED will be going in our bedroom as I'm going to be doing like an ultimate uh, bedroom setup with TV and an Xbox up there and all that. So join me for that video. But yeah, so my daily driver TV is uh, an OLED, but I must admit, that did really impress me that bit a minute ago, like the intro bits, because the um, the brightness and that just looked really, really nice. And, you know, that is where the QLED does uh, shine, and that's when it comes to brightness. So at the moment, this image is looking rather blue. Again, I think this is just down to my camera. Well, actually, I know it's down to my camera. I don't know why I was saying. I think it is, um, because in person, it looks a lot more whiter and how it should do so i apologize for that but that is just the limitations of my camera unfortunately um, as time goes on and you know my channel grows i look to get in some more professional camera equipment where i can give you a more precise image of what i'm seeing but you know i'm using a galaxy note 10 plus so uh I'm a bit restricted on what controls I've got over the image. Oh, that does look nice. Yeah, I'll go back there a minute, get that light coming through. Now that it seems like scenes like that where this QLED really does shine, no pun intended, and that is when you've got brightness like that, light streaming through. Now again, it looks really, really good on an OLED, but you know, if you want a bright image, you know, and you like brightness, then you know it's things like that that are going to look really, really good. And I'm lucky enough that um, I've got best of both worlds. I've got a QLED on, and an OLED, so uh, you know I can swap between the two for uh, whatever takes me fancy. So if it's more of a darker game and all that, then uh, I can uh, fire up the OLED. But yeah, in all fairness, that's looking, you know, really, really nice on this. Those, these scenes are looking stunning. Like the brightness from that sun there. Again, let me know what you think. How is this TV faring? Let's have a look at the viewing angles a minute. And I'm going to sit down in one of my, on my other sofa over here. So a bit of a different angle there for you. Because again, not everyone can sit square on with these TVs. And again, I know a lot of you guys want to know what it looks like at different angles. Because like me, you know, you've got multiple sofas and that. And when you're looking to buy a TV, you want to know what it's like from different um, viewing angles and stuff. Again, this video has gone on for too long for you on this game. Feel free to fast forward on to the next one. Again, look at that. That looks really, really nice really nice you know for whatever reason you can't have an oled in your house you know you're worried about screen burn which and you know a lot of people are i personally haven't suffered with any burn on mine i've had my my oled a year but if that is a concern you don't want an oled then i don't think you're going to go far wrong with this q night yard to be honest i've not tested out other sort of competitors ones but it's got to be up there. It's got to be one of the best this year, if not the best non-OLED TV uh, out there, really. When it comes to 4K, because obviously they do 8K versions as well. Right, so I think it's time now we move on to the next game. Right, and we are off with GTA 5. And again, got to say it, it's looking really nice and really snowy as well. Now I've got to say, it, looking at this game so far, comparing it, now I shouldn't be really comparing it to the OLED, but I'm going to wait anyway, because I've done that a couple of times in this video. But you know, I know a lot of people watch this uh, channel who have got OLEDs or are looking at buying an OLED. And you know, it seems to be like either an OLED or a QLED that people sort of are tossing up between as such. But uh, 
Yeah, I'd say the motion handling on, well, on this game especially, um, seems to be a bit better than the OLED was. Um, you know, this is it when, when I'm saying about this now, we're talking about factory default settings. You know, I tinkering around with them a bit. I know you can vastly improve it on the OLED, but just, you know, at the box settings, this does look a bit smoother. Now I know a lot of people will, will mess around with the settings once they get a new TV, but I tell you what, there's a lot of people out there that don't, to be honest. And for uh, anyone out there who's uh, wondering why I haven't got a gaming PC, because uh, again, I've had, like I said, people say, you know, if you've got these TVs, why wouldn't you have a gaming PC? Well, the reason for that is, let me just turn this down a second, a little bit. And uh, yeah, the, I'm just a casual gamer, really. And, uh, you know, me kids just use the consoles. It's nice and simple. You know, I would love to try out a top spec gaming PC. So, you know, if anyone wants to send me one, then I will gladly test one out. And, you know, it would be nice to, to uh, see what these TVs are capable of with uh, a good setup. But for me personally, it's not worth going out spending thousands of pounds on a gaming setup, a uh, gaming PC setup. Um, when really like realistically, I am just a casual gamer and a console, you know, suits me easy enough to just sort of throw on and uh, fire up as uh, as and when I feel like it. And, you know, I don't play all the time. So, again, it, it'd be wasted a little bit on me. Kids would probably use a gaming PC more than me, though, to be honest. Right. So we've now just changed to the story mode because... That was a snowy scene on there on GTA, and we just had it on the previous game, so I thought we'd uh, just change it up a bit. Apparently this is story mode. I mean, some informs me that the graphics aren't as good. I haven't got a clue, but anyway, I thought we'd just swap it to this just for a minute, so we can look at some uh, sort of non-snowy scenes, if you want to look at it like that, because this is how GTA 5 generally looks. And again, yeah, even though if it's uh, less great graphics, still looks uh, pretty good on the TV nonetheless. Let's do a wider shot here. Yeah. I'm liking it. And just move around to this other seat again over here for a different view of it. Just adjust that camera a little bit there. There we go, that looks better. And yeah. It is a, a nice display in all fairness. You know, if, like I said before, if you don't want worries of, you know, potential burning, which are, in my eyes, sort of quite minimal. But, you know, if you're the sort of person who wants to play a game for day in, day out, week in, week out, the same one with heads up displays and that, then, you know, maybe a QLED is more suited to you. And, you know, like I said before, I don't think you're going to go far wrong with one of these Q90Rs. So, I think we will now move on to the next game. Right, so here we are with Gran Turismo. And uh, yeah, we've got select a car. And I think we should select my very own car. So, when I say very own, this is in the real world here. So, let's move along. And where is it? There it is. The Mitsubishi Evo 10. So yeah, I am a bit of an Evo fanboy. I've had loads of them. So it's only fair to uh, pick the Evo to race. So let's uh, fire up that race. Right, so we are racing. Well, I say we're racing. My son's crashing more than racing air. But anyway, we're off. And once again, looking really nice. There I say, you know, you've got that brightness there with the sun reflecting off. It looks really, really good in person. You know, if you really want a bright image then, you know, you're going to be blown away with this. Struggling to get the exposure just right on this one. 
Now yeah, that's a bit better there. Looks slightly darker, I'd say, on camera than what it does in real life. Like these trees and that are looking a little bit too dark over there, where there's a little bit more detail in person. Let's turn it up a bit. There we go, that's better. I've not played this game in absolutely ages. I think I should fire it up one day. It's a, a good game. Let's move around to the side here a bit. Visually, it's a wicked game, in all fairness. It does look uh, gorgeous. Again, please let me know what you're thinking of it so far. How do you think this TV is uh, old enough? How does it compare to what TV you've got? So yeah, as I said before, this TV will be going in our uh, bedroom. And some people might say, well, why would you have a really bright TV in your bedroom? And, you know, an OLED in the lounge. Well, the fact is that I like my OLED for uh, watching me films and that. And I've got a dedicated home cinema set with amp and speakers and all that lot. So, you know, my living room or our living room is sort of uh, the place to watch the films, really. So, you know, that's where... I'm going to be having the OLED because you know it suits movies for me personally anyway and uh, reason for the QLED being more suited to the bedroom in, in our case is the fact that quite often we fall asleep with the TV running and it will go to say like the Sky um, menu page and that it could be stuck up there for hours and obviously with the poten potential risk of burning on an OLED you're not going to have that with the QLED. So again, I can leave it on all night and if it goes on to, you know, a, a standby page or whatever like that, then it's going to be fine and not got any worries whatsoever. Getting back to this though, um, I didn't mention the previous game, which was, uh, what was it, GTA 5. And that was a standard dynamic range game where this again is a HDR game. And if I just grab the remote, I'll just show you guys that there. So there we go, HDR, UHD. Just adjust this back up here again. Yeah, that is looking beautiful in all fairness. Now this is, TV is definitely suited to this sort of environment where we've got the uh, bright lights and you've got that real high peak brightness on this. I think it's rated at 2000 nits. Personally, I'll be honest, um, it's even, yes, it's really, really bright. It's not as bright as I quite expected it to be. I mean, 2000 nits, when you compare to what other TVs put out, sounds a hell of a lot, but it's not as bright sort of intensely bright as I thought. I mean, don't get me wrong, it still hurts your eyes and things like that, but just put it in perspective of other ones which are far lower in it, so I expected it to be even far brighter than it actually is. But that aside, you know, you've got these real bright parts here that are, again, it's, it's hard to show on camera, but yeah, it really does add something to the, uh, the image here. Yeah? So anyway, I think that's a, uh, enough of this game now and we will move on to the final one. Right, so here we are with Minecraft. Like I said at the start of the video, folks, don't bite me head off for this one. This isn't my game, it's my kid's game and uh, I'm purely just showing it because of the, you know, vividness of it and yeah, as I suspected, it does look really nice and vivid. So that is just the reason why I'm just adding this little one at the end end of the video. As uh, you know, I thought it would look so great, and yeah, sure enough, it does. 
Everything looks real punchy and vibrant. Again, this is the standard settings, uh, you know, factory settings out of the box and that. So for not being adjusted, you know, in all fairness, it's very impressive. Again, let me know, what do you think? Is it too vivid for you? Some people like, you know, more of a natural look. Um, again, it's, I'd say my camera is making it look a fraction bit uh, more vivid than it probably is, but only a little bit, not too far off. And yeah, looking at that image, that certainly isn't offensive to the eyes at all. Really, really nice. You know, that uh, sunset there looks really punchy in that. Beautiful. Just moving around to the side here, looking at the different viewing angles, and it's doing a uh, fair job. Just move around to this sofa here. And again, like I said, excuse the lights, they are extremely bright. There we go, that's a bit, bit better there. It's more uh, how it looks. Now I've got it adjusted. So please, let me know what you've uh, thought about these uh, games on this TV. Do you think uh, they look good, bad? You know, you know, feel free just to give me your opinion on it. And like I said before, any suggestions, you know, just uh, put them in the comments. So, there you have it then, guys. Hopefully you enjoyed that video, and if you did, I would really appreciate a thumbs up. And if you haven't already subscribed, then maybe think about subscribing for more of the same in the future. So, thanks very much for joining me today, and hopefully I'll catch you guys on the next one. Bye for now.